We are very excited uh, to celebrate Christmas together in this way. This has been a year that is unlike any other. And so I think it's appropriate that we have a Christmas special that is unlike any other that we have ever done before. Um, it's been a great blessing to have so many people involved. Um, don't even try to count. Just enjoy all the different faces that you see. And there are a lot of faces that were involved that you will not see uh, because they were on the other side of things. Um, a couple of people in particular that I want to thank. Um, if, if you think things sound really good, we're going to thank uh, George Serkin for that. Uh, you're not going to see him on the video because he was always on the other end on the computer side making us sound very good. And if you, if you enjoy seeing some of the great camera work that happens, then we have Jim Goodwin to thank for that. And he, he has brought a lot of great experience to, to that role. And so I'm thankful for those guys. I'm thankful for everyone who has been a part of this. Um, and I just want to share with you as we begin, uh, the, the church staff has been talking about their favorite Christmas stories. And I don't know if I have one favorite, and I know that some of my favorites have been covered. But one thing that I always go back to each and every Christmas season is the beginning of the Gospel of John, the prologue. And I think I really identify with John. If we take it all the way back um, to when John and the disciples were with Jesus, there was, there was something that happened when Jesus met a woman, a Samaritan woman at the well. And he knew everything about her. And they had this great conversation about worshiping God. And then she goes back to her, her town and she tells everyone. And they are interested about this. And they listen. And in John 4, 42, the people of the town, they said to the woman, it is no longer because of what you said that we believe, for we have heard for ourselves. And we know that this is indeed the Savior of the world. Now that's something that stuck with the Apostle John, and he writes uh, in his first epistle, 1 John 4, 14. He writes, And we have seen and testify that the Father has sent His Son to be the Savior of the world. What is Christmas? Christmas is the Father sent His Son to be the Savior of the world. And then I always go back to John 1, 14. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we have seen His glory, glory as of the only Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. John and the other disciples, they saw, they heard, and then they testify. We have the testimony of John inspired by the Holy Spirit. That is how we know about Jesus and what God has done for us. And so in turn, because we have heard and we have seen, we have seen what Jesus has done in our lives, in our great experiences, then we should, then we should also testify. And so that's, that's a theme that I hope you see running through this whole presentation tonight. We have seen, we have heard, and we know. Therefore, we testify. So let us pray, and we'll begin. Our great God, we love you and we praise you. And we're so thankful for this Christmas season. We're so thankful for our church body, for all of those who are gathered near and far we're thankful this, for this time that we can celebrate what you have done for us. Lord, be with us during this time. Speak to us through the songs, through the scriptures, through all of the presentations. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, I was asleep. 
Break forth, O beauteous heavenly light, and usher in the morning. O shepherds, shrink not with affright, but hear the angel's warning. This child, now weak in infancy, our confidence and joy will be. The power of Satan breaking, our peace eternal making. Break forth, O beauteous heavenly light, to herald our salvation. He stoops to earth, the God of might, our hope and expectation. He comes in human flesh to dwell, our God with us, Emmanuel. The night of darkness ending, our fallen race befriending. brightly shining. It is the night of the dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin and error pining till he appeared and the soul it's a worth a thrill of hope the weary world rejoices for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn is love and his gospel is peace chain shall he break for the slave is our brother and in his name all oppression shall cease sweet hymns of joy in grateful chorus raise we let all within us praise his holy name more 
You all may be seated. And now we have this prophecy from Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 9, verse 2. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who dwelt in a land of deep darkness, on them has light shone. And then in verse 6, For to us a child is born, to us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and of peace there will be no end. On the throne of David and over his kingdom to establish it and to uphold it with justice and righteousness from this time forth and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this.
Well, hello, church family. Good to see you. Good to see you tonight. Hasn't tonight been great so far? Just taking it. Yeah, give a round of hand for Daniel. Pastor Dan for the choir, for everyone. It's been amazing. It's been amazing. So, uh, praise be to God. Uh, Pastor Daniel decided uh, uh, to give me a little uh, portion in this uh, service, too. And I'm very thankful for it. Uh, One day he approached me. And, uh, well, first of all, let me start off by doing this. Uh, One thing that uh, I've done with some time recently is I've started making music for God's glory and using it as an outreach. Um, The Lord has just moved uh, that way in my heart and in my life, and um, I hope he blesses it and continues to bless it. So, Pastor Daniel, one day he uh, caught me in the halls walking around uh, Mount Vernon, and he gave me a task, and he said to write a song about encountering the risen Lord. Write a song about encountering the risen Lord, and it's about to be Christmas time in my mind. I went to immediately just thinking about what was it like when I didn't know the risen Lord? What well, I didn't know this, this gospel that I've been saved by and changed by. In Ephesians chapter 2, Paul writes that outside of encountering the risen Lord, we're dead in our sins. We have no life, everything within us, and our rebellion against God, our Heart, soul, mind, will, all of it is in rebellion against God. We don't, we don't know him. We're dead. And some of the most beautiful words in the whole Bible. Y'all check this out. Two of the most beautiful words. But God. But God. Being rich in mercy. Because of the great love which he loved us, even while we were dead in our sin, dead in our rebellion. Dead in our trespasses, he made us alive together with Christ. God came down from heaven to live a perfect life in our place as a substitute, taking, and then he died a death, taking the punishment that we deserved. And that death was on the cross. He was beaten, bruised, spit on, hung. And that wasn't even the worst part. The worst part was the active wrath of God that we deserved fell on Jesus on the cross. Instead of what we deserve fell on him. And now, God has made it so that we can now encounter the saving power. Because when he died on that cross, he didn't stay dead, but he rose again. And this, this is what Pastor Daniel gave me the task to write about. So, you know, I'm imagining this. I'm like, okay, I'm supposed to capture this in like a five-minute uh, song. So, um, with just by the grace of God. And I thank the Mount Vernon choir, which y'all have done amazing. Uh, Even today, hearing y'all, it's been a blessing. Um, And they're featured in this. I thank Kate and uh, Jackson uh, for even helping me co-write this. Uh, I thank Andrew um, for shooting the video and mixing the video. And uh, without further ado, this is Holy Is Your Name. I've some unspoken band aids, cold emotions, glass case full of stones exposing past pains like current groanings. I'm breathing air, no life signs, just missing pulses. Square dance with the same sense, need deliverance. My soul's eroding. Would you come pick me up? I need your hand to hold. Would you drink my cup and drink it all in all? Knock me on my back, I'm looking up to you I want this love I lack, Jesus all I want is you You're the Savior, worthy of our praise Let the church sing who is your name You're the Savior, worthy of our praise Let the church sing who is your name You're the Savior, worthy of our praise Let the church sing who is your name Drop on the light. Will you make my soul delight? You wanna love and be loved? You? I'm washed by the blood. You bring drop on the light. You make my soul delight. You wanna love and be loved? You I'm washed by the blood. My heart of stone was rolled away when I was face to face with an empty grave. He made me low to go relocate. Got a new home now. That's a real estate. Oh yes, I praise you for your speed. Cause I was running from when you were running to. And your grace and mercy called me. Now I'm so in love with you. So would you take my life, take me in as I take your hand Renew my sight, be my light and go wash the stain of sin 
I want to hide, but you knew and died for my greatest sins. You're the greatest now, you're the greatest then. I'm greater than Jehovah Nisi, don't need a ballad, it's from within. My rocking palace, done losing balance on sinking sand. So all I am, I give you me, my past, present, eternity. My peace and my security is in Jesus, the risen lamb. You're the Is 
Chúa là tôn quý. Chúc mừng Giáng sinh. Kevel Isu Yogyahe Bradadin Mubarakho Esuwe Patr Christmas Matum Bhutani Manwartika Jesus is worthy. Merry, Merry Christmas. Jesus warte, zris dvom Christova. Jesus mieto a dicséretünkre, boldog karácsonyt. Jesus Kristus karakudu. Christmas suba kanchulu. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. On dostoyen, s Rождеством Kristova. eternal source of light divine the light irrepressible in darkness ever shines the word came down incarnate the life made manifest those who saw and heard him in holy words confessed now we have heard for ourselves And we know that this is indeed the Savior of the world Of the world We've seen and we testify That the Father has sent His Son to be the Savior of the world Oh, my. 
When I was a child growing up, every year in my home church, we had homecoming. Many of you know about that tradition. You also know of the tradition of having services every night for at least a week after that, every night and sometimes every morning, our church had that. I remember weeks for many years going twice daily to church. I did not understand the importance of it at the time, but I look back with great fondness and great gratitude that my parents saw to it that we were there. When I was 11, in one of those night meetings, I became aware that I needed Christ. I cannot say I was a bad person before that. I was not. I was simply unaware of my need for Jesus. But that was not the end of the story of God's great work in my life. Yes, I was saved that day, but my real commitment, my hardcore commitment to Christ did not come until I was 30. I was sitting in church, holding our second child in my arms as she was sleeping peacefully. I don't know what the preacher was preaching about particularly, except he always gave us the word of Christ, the word of God. But something went through me that day that was like elect electricity. And suddenly I realized, Bonnie, it's time to get serious. And from that time forward, I have had a great desire to know him and his word and his ways. What I've learned from that is that the more I learn, the less I realize I know. And therein is the great importance of faith that Christ, not because of who I am, but because of who he is, has troubled himself to save me. From the words of Isaiah, Behold, for peace I had great bitterness, but thou, O Lord, hast in love to my soul delivered my soul from the pit of corruption, for thou hast cast all my sins behind thy back. I can say without a, a moment's hesitation that when I was being incredibly stupid, God was being incredibly faithful how thankful I am that he is who he is and that he has taken the trouble to take into account my own position in him, through him and because of him. Walking the wayside, lost on a lonely road. I was chasing the high life, trying to satisfy my soul. All the lies I believed in left me crying like the rain. Then I saw lightning from heaven and I've never been the same I'm gonna run a mountain I'm gonna shout about it I am a child
I thought it was over You broke me out of the grave I'm gonna climb a mountain I'm gonna shout about it I am a child of love What a powerful message. Are you a child of God? Say it. I'm a child of God. What a blessing. Thank you so much. Uh, a lot of work has gone into this, as you know. Uh, I hope it's encouraged you to carry the message of the Lord. Uh, all those little pictures you saw like that, of all those little people, you saw them? A lot of work went into every single one of them. I hope you appreciate this. You that are tuning in by way of uh, computer, uh, the work that's gone into this, there's so many folks that's made this possible. This is not easy. It's a lot easier just to do one here. And I hope you appreciate the amount of work, the number of people that are involved to make this possible. Uh, I think about each one of those little pictures. A lot of time went in. Then they had to bring it all together, pull it all together. Uh, thank the Lord for all the folks that's made this possible. And I hope you'll be encouraged to pass the word on. Uh, Daniel, thank you so much for what you've done. Where are you at, Daniel? Why don't you come on up here? Thank you for sharing your story that you did in a beautiful way. Uh, yeah, you outdid all the rest of us, so uh, thank you so much. And the choir usually does something. Uh, they gather together, and uh, thank you, choir, for all you've done and uh, your work from a distance, some of you, and some of you in person. And so Lisa represents the whole choir. Uh, so Lisa wants to present to you a little gift right now.
We praise the Lord for the handbells, uh, the sticks, and everybody that did something. Wow, what a blessing. And the time you spent to make that possible. Be encouraged, church. This is real. It's Christmas. Christ is real. His salvation is real. He'll change your life. Don't back up. Be bold in celebrating Christmas. You won't regret it. Let's pray. And dear Heavenly Father, you're what the story is all about. You're coming in the world, plan an event before the world was ever created. You planned such a beautiful story, so many different avenues of it so that we would be able to celebrate your birth, your death, your resurrection, your salvation, your love, your change in our lives, and continue to change them, not giving up on us. Lord, you're worth celebrating, exalting, praising your name. Give us boldness, Lord, this Christmas, not to back up, or shut up, but to continue boldly talking about the greatest person that's ever come into the world, God's Son. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.